federal regulators voted Thursday to allow Internet providers to speed up service for some apps and websites, and block or slow down others, in a decision repealing landmark, Obama-era regulations for broadband companies such as AT&T and Verizon. The move to deregulate the telecom and cable industry is a major setback for tech companies, consumer groups and Democrats who lobbied heavily against the decision. And it marks a significant victory for Republicans who vowed to roll back the efforts of the prior administration, despite a recent survey showing that 83% of Americans, including three out of four Republicans, opposed the plan. Led by Chairman Ajit Pai the Federal Communications Commission and its two other GOP members on Thursday followed through on a promise to repeal the government's 2015 net neutrality rules, which sought to force Internet providers to treat all online services, large and small, equally. The agency also went a step further, rejecting much of its own authority over broadband in a bid to stymie future FCC officials who might seek to regulate providers. The digital world bears no resemblance to a water pipe or an electric line or a sewer, said Pai, arguing that the rules unfairly treated Internet providers like a traditional utility service. The result is a comprehensive redrawing of the FCC's oversight powers in the digital age, at a time of rapid transformation in the media and technology sectors. The move is also a prominent example of the policy shifts taking place in Washington under President Donald Trump. With Republicans controlling the levers of government, federal policy has swung to the right, in some respects eclipsing what would have been considered middle-of-the-road conservative positions just a decade ago, said Jeffrey Blumenfeld, co-chair of the antitrust and trade regulation practice at the law firm Lowenstein Sandler. What we're seeing now is a dramatic change not just from the Obama administration, but even from the prior Republican administration, said Blumenfeld. Federal Communications Commission Chairman Ajit Pai listens during a commission meeting December 14, 2017 in Washington, D.C. The FCC voted to repeal net neutrality regulations. Federal Communications Commission Chairman Ajit Pai listens during a commission meeting December 14, 2017 in Washington, D.C. The FCC voted to repeal net neutrality regulations. Under President George W. Bush, the FCC outlined a series of guiding principles that would eventually lead to the 2015 net neutrality rules. Then FCC Chairman Michael Powell, in a 2004 speech, said Internet users should enjoy four fundamental freedoms, the freedom to access any web content of their choice, so long as it was legal, the freedom to use any online application, the freedom to use their home broadband connections on any device, and the freedom to get subscription information from their own providers. Consumer advocates fear that those freedoms could be curtailed in a world where Internet providers are legally permitted to give preferential treatment to sites they own or share commercial relationships with, and to discriminate against apps they do not like. For example, under the net neutrality rules Verizon was not allowed to favor Yahoo and AOL, which it owns, by blocking Google.